Welcome everybody back to Cardboard Currencies. Today we've got a special one for you. This was not the box I was wanting to open today. Uh, no, I wanted to go and look through an Ikoria box, but I got this in the mail and I thought this is going to be something special uh, because I have a sneaking suspicion that this is a fake box of Crimson Vow. Now I'm not sure, there could be some errors with this, but I want to point out a couple of things that you can be looking for when you buy boxes off of Amazon or from eBay and you get them in, you do your initial look over, some things to be aware of that are telltale signs that these boxes have been opened, the good stuff has been taken, and you've got taken for a ride. And there's a few things that are going on with this box that kind of tell me that. Uh, so this will be fun just to kind of open it up. Maybe there's just some errors that went into to the making of these, this box, but we're going to find out. Uh, so there's a couple of things here. Now, right off the bat, the big thing here is how just shoddy this plastic is. Look at that. It all kind of came to me ripped apart and not what you normally get. So maybe it was rough handled in, in uh, shipping. But this is normally how a box comes. Nice plastic that's just tight, no rips, no tears, and it's all held together. Now you'll also see along this cardboard here that it's kind of pressed in a little bit and that's pretty normal. But with this box, it is really bad. There is clear tearing, clear rough. And again, that could be just rough handling. But the other big thing as I pull open this box is that look the wizard symbol is completely backwards when you get a box the wizard symbol should be just like this clearly readable but I have an inside out plastic so what can usually happen is somebody will open these boxes they will make a small cut and then they will uh, make it to where that they can put these back together once they're done with it. Kind of just slide it off like that. And what I'm guessing probably happened is that they turned it inside out. So you didn't get the right stuff. So when they went and put the box back together, they did it shoddily. Now, again, this could be just an accident about how they put things together. But it just seems really weird and really suspicious. So as we pull open this box, if we don't pull anything, there's a good chance that this was tampered with. Now there's a couple other things you can look for uh, when you're wondering if you've got a tampered box. So let's pull up some of these packs. Now what you really want to do when you pull them out and you start looking at them, you want to take the packs and you want to search along the sides here. When you open it up, you see that right there? When you pull it, you want to see those tear lines come off. And that shows that maybe this box wasn't tampered with at all. Because what you'll usually see here are little uh, beads of hot glue instead. Uh, showing that the packs have been opened. So if... It opens usually on the bottom. Yep. Okay. So it's tearing away. So the package might be legit. Or maybe they just didn't uh, open these ones. But we'll be real careful about uh, opening these up. We'll save this box topper for the end. But those are some things that you might want to look out for. Like I said, this could just be a production error. But I haven't seen any Crimson Vow products that look like this. Um, so I'm really suspicious about what we uh, will or will not pull out of this box. So I'm kind of excited to see what we get, but <laughs> we'll get what we get for sure. All right, we'll kind of speed through all the commons and uncommons and really look at these rares because this has been out for a while. I was planning on just uh, holding on to it. So uh, rare concealing curtains. Nice. Uh, with a Stony Brook Schoolmaster. But uh, my plan was to just kind of hold on to this box, but when I saw the, the condition that the box came in, I got really suspicious. So those are just some things to look out for, and as I open these packs up, I will be looking for those telltale signs that these packs have already been opened. And uh, 
I'm just giving crap. <laughs> All right, we'll put that art card over here. And over here. Oop. Stuff peeking out. Trying to get ahead of us. All right. Breathkeeper Seraph. Man, I had a dollar for every time I pulled her. Oh, and a Mirror Hall Mimic. That one's pretty good. Old Darren Epicure. And a token. All right. All right, my faith is being a little bit restored here. You know, if we don't get taken for a ride here, taken to Pound Town, I'll be happy, but uh, very suspect there at the beginning. Blood Tithe Harvester, Ill-Tempered Loner. All right, a Skulking Killer. All right, well, as we're opening the box, don't forget, we're give, doing a giveaway. We passed 10 subscribers. That was the first goal uh, that we've had. So we're excited to be able to meet that goal. And I'm uh, giving away a pack of uh, double feature and three packs of Kamigawa Neon Dynasty draft packs. So if you want to be entered, go to the giveaway video that uh, was posted a couple days ago. And let me know. What got you into cardboard? Leave a comment for me. Whoever leaves the comments gets entered into the drawing and will be contacted that way. So let me know what got you into cardboard in the first place. What pulled you in? And what's got you hooked now? All right, what do we got? Another ill-tempered loner. Belligerent guest. Man. Not some great stuff right now. Oh, nice. A gold signed. That's pretty good. Mountain. Oh, nope. Oh, okay. Didn't miss anything. Orthia, Vengeful Victim. All right. So far, nothing to write home about. Another thing to look out for when you're kind of suspecting that uh, that the box that you've bought is... Oh, I'm switching that up. There we go. Uh, when you're kind of suspect of the box that you've uh, bought and that you're kind of opening... Uh, first, if you're suspect, you can always send it back. Uh, I'm not doing that just because I would like to arm some viewers with, with a little bit of knowledge about uh, how to tell a fake. Ulvenwald Oddity, not a great one. But another thing to look for is uh, your rare slots copying uh, multiple times. So you, there's, I mean, you're opening a box. There's bound to be some uh, overlap about what cards you get. But uh, pulling the ill-tempered loner multiple times right back to back is kind of uh, scaring me a little bit. Uh, if I continue to see these, these small rares... Uh, continue to pop up, uh, I'm confirming my suspicion here that uh, this box was probably tempered with. Enrica Domnathi. All right. All right, still not finding the hot glue telltale sign. That's a good thing. Blood Petal Celebrant, Gluttonous Guest, Gatilda Donhart Martyr. All right, that one's pretty good. With a Torrens. Man, I had a dollar for every time I pulled a Torrens, too. <laughs> Love the black and white artwork that uh, came out in this set. It looks so good. All right, drink guest. Ooh, okay, a storm carved coast. That's a good one. Borderless. It looks good. 
paper. Water. Okay, that's just dust on the bottom. Interesting. It looked like a, a little tear there. Oh, and a Jacob Hawken Inspector. All right, very cool. Some decent cards there. Happy with those. Those lands always go for a pretty penny. That's for sure. Oh, mix up my piles. There we go. Gift Fangs. Point of discussion. Vampire's Kiss. Laid to rest. That's a good one. Unholy official. Dorothy. Wow. Okay. Alright, a solid foil land. Weaver of Blossom, Blood Crazed. Anj. Anji? Anjay, Maid of Dishonor. Very cool. Good commander card. With a wedding announcement. Right. What else can we pull? Does anybody else collect those art cards? Those, uh, those art cards are, are kind of nice little extra that I, uh, I enjoy having. A Mirror Hall Mimic. Oof. Damage there. Any of the other cards behind it? Nope. Okay. Just the token. We go. Right, some zombies. Wandering mind. A canned marner. Another Dorothy. My goodness. The strength of night in the back. I am. Oof. I am highly suspect on this box. I've opened a couple of these boxes of Crimson Val, and I've never had the repeat. Uh, that I've had in this uh, box. Blood Petal Celebrant. Another Catilda. My goodness. All right. Forest. Finding Geist. Gluttonous Guest. A Wedding Ring. Okay. Very cool. And an Edgar Charmed Groom. Ooh, with a foil. Splendid rec Reclamation. <clears throat> Return all land cards from your graveyard to the battlefield. Very cool. Alright. Those are pretty decent pulls. Alright, Full Art Island. Very nice. Lumber Knot. Dracton Geist. Lantern Bear. Unholy Efficient. Concealing Curtains. The Child of the Pack. Uh, where are all my piles? There we go. Be sorted out eventually here. Now what could have been also that these, uh, the box toppers out of this pack might have been, uh, the, the thing that people were looking for, uh, if they did open this box and kind of pull it out and fiddle around with it. Um, those alternate foils and stuff could have gone for a pretty good chunk of change. Ill-tempered loner again. Ceremonial knife. Nuance engine. Again, with some just rough shape on that corner. Is that... See that? Hmm. I'm being pretty careful as I open these boxes. Making sure that uh, everything's held on. Some of 
this stuff out of the way. There we go. All right. Art card and a mountain. Thought, Saw Blade Slinger, Resistance Squad, Hook Hand Mariner, Restless Bloodseeker, Skulking Killer, and another wedding announcement. Ah, oh, that's a nice art there. That's pretty sweet. All right, we got a forest. Wedding invitation. Cobbled Lancer. Doom Weaver. Faithbound Judge. Okay, not bad. Alluring Suitor. Oh, nice. And a Mythic, Daxus the Returned. All right, what's it say? Whenever you cast an enchantment spell, you get an experience counter. Uh, put a white and black spirit enchantment creature token onto the battlefield. It has this creature's power and toughness are each equal to the number of experience. Oh, that's a pretty, that's a pretty okay card. Not bad. That'd be a, a fun commander to build around for sure. Ooh, looking sweet there. Oil planes. Axon. Pack song pup. Yep, I said that right. Lumber knot. Wedding security. Runo. Stormkirk. All right. Oh, nice. Another gold foiled stamp card. Like it. That in the rear. One there. All right. All these spirits and all these sets are going to play really well into... Oh my goodness, another Katilda. You've got to be kill kidding me. Anyway, all these spirits are going to play really well into uh, this upcoming set. I've uh, seen a bunch of the spoilers and stuff. A lot of uh, spirit synergies and stuff. That should be some, some fun... Fun synergies, for sure. All right, got a mountain. Nurturing Presence, Cradle of Safety, Leading Spirit, Weaver of Blossoms, Markov Purifier, and an other Edgar, Edgar Armed Groom. Wow, there is just a lot of repetition in this set. At least in the packs I'm pulling. I mean, I've, I've opened a lot of this stuff. Uh, a lot of these, and usually I've seen more, uh, alternate arts, uh, being pulled, in, uh, more, uh, those dual lands, uh, being in here. I have not seen Hollowhenge Overlord. Okay, that's, uh, a good, good card for wolf decks. The Fawn. Boldaren Bloodcaster. Archetype of Aggression back there. Very cool. All right. Some Commander uh, deck cards. Oops. All right. We're getting to the end here. Haven't seen the telltale signs of, of altering the packs themselves. So that's pretty good. But it just seems like it's very repetitive. And I keep pulling this uh, damage stuff. Look at that. See that? Yeah, that is disappointing. Maybe it was just roughly handled. That's what I'm hoping for, anyway. Bruno Stormkirk again. Art is it's just so good, though. <laughs> Alright, we got an island. Oaked Cadet. Wolfkin Outcat. What? Okay, that's the alternate art. I see. Another Olvenwald Oddity. Man. Alright, 
Head over here. And forest. All of the pack. Blitter and guest. And ceiling curtains. Honored heirloom. And a venerated teacher. I will say I pulled a lot of list cards in this uh, opening. That's for sure. Oh, here we go. Oop. Right. Solid phalanx. Wandering mind. Holy efficient. Volatile arsonist. Not bad. With a rare path of peril as the foil. Alright, down the last two packs. Okay. Just play the light. Or was it? Okay, it's just play the light. But I had some more damage. Okay. There it is imprisonment. Late to rest. Oh, there it is. How pack Piper. Guy warps stab. Alright, last one. And we'll look at that box topper. And really inspect that. Alright. Audric Art. Planes. Alright. Come on, give me something good. Hold up. Again? Oh my goodness. How many of these did we pull in the end? Oh, now yeah, Honden, that's pretty cool. My goodness, though, the repeats of the rares in this uh, set were crazy. All right, so when all was said and done, this is what we ended up with. Look at all these repeats. We got four Catildas, three Concealing Curtains, three Dorothys, three Ill-Tempered. All of these we got two of. This is a crazy amount of just copies of uh, under $2 rares. And it just kept happening, kept happening. So, here's the deal. When you guys get a box that looks the way that uh, mine looked, return it. Don't open it like I did. This was just to show what you will end up with if you do. Um, you know, as I was opening it, I was trying to stay positive. I like to give people the benefit of the doubt. I like to think that, that hopefully people uh, do the right thing when they have the opportunity to. Of course, the world does not work that way. Uh, I was actually able to call Amazon. Actually, I didn't call them. I was able to live chat them, and uh, they were really understanding about it. And I'm not sure if that was because they've uh, got other reports from the same dealer, uh, and they they were just having uh, a lot of people reporting that, that they were getting jacked up boxes. But when it comes down to it, they were really nice uh, and were able to return it super quick. I didn't have to return anything. Sometimes you do, and if you return a broken box, you'll not get your money back. But they were super awesome. But just know that if you do end up breaking a box like this, you might not be able to return it in the future. Um, so, like I said, don't just take things and, and hope that, that people are doing the right thing. Don't open the box <laughs> when they look the same way that mine did. Uh, because it's very clear that, that they went through the box and uh, usually how it works is they will pr pull a bunch of cards out and once they hit a, a number of alternate arts, a number of the, the mythic stuff, the things that go for a lot of money, once they pull a percentage out, uh, they repack it with other boxes that they've pulled open and done the same thing to and so you end up with trash in the end of the day. Some stuff snuck through, but not enough that would make it worthy to even keep. But thanks for joining me in this opening. Don't forget that we uh, got a giveaway going on. Uh, pack a double feature, a couple of packs of Kamigawa Neon Draft Boosters. Uh, we'll be giving these away uh, to anybody that, that comments on the the last giveaway video that way i can track down uh who subscribed and uh you know who's wanting some packs so don't forget to watch that video and answer the question that i ask in it and until next time i'll see you